W-O-K-E. Beautiful music there by Peter Nero. Five minutes now before the hour of five o'clock. CBS Radio News coming up at five. You're in trouble. But who do you turn to? You need direct help. But which agencies can provide what you need? You just need someone to talk to. But who will listen? Hotline is the answer to all these questions. They're great listeners. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hotline 577 H-E-L-P. Well, Darrell Waltrip has won the pole position for tomorrow's NASCAR 400 at Riverside, California in his 1981 Buick built strictly for road racing. Waltrip from Franklin, Tennessee averaged over 114 miles per hour to beat Dale Earnhardt, who was clocked at more than 113 miles an hour in his 81 Pontiac. Qualifying in the second row, veteran driving ace Richard Petty and Neil Bonnet. Good music continues now on Wonderful Woke Radio in the Saturday afternoon parade of this. At the earliest, equally glum news for television fans, talks between striking screen writers and producers broke off in Hollywood. The strike now threatens to postpone the new fall season. Susan Spencer, CBS News. Is there really a heaven? And if so, what's it like? These are some of the most basic questions of mankind. The subject of debate by scientists, theologians, and laymen, both past and present. Party on Back to the Bible, Ord Morrow brings clear, comforting answers to these questions based on God's word. Bible. Join us Friday on Back to the Bible broadcast for this important message entitled, The Wonder of Heaven, at 9.30 in the morning. This is W.O.K.E. Wonderful Wolf Radio in Charleston, <coughs> South Carolina. The station that shows you results, not figures from a radio survey. Another million dollar record <coughs> from the W.O.K.E. Gold Dust Library. And we take you back to 1970 now. A song by Eddie Coleman. Hey there, lonely girl. Eddie Holman there, called Hey There, Lonely Girl, a gold record sound for 1970 at 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. Well, taking a look at some sports notes into us at this hour, after 21 hours of the 24 hours at Le Mans in France, the team of four-time winner Jackie Ix and Derek Bell have a comfortable lead over Vern Chupin of Australia and Hurley Haywood of the United States. The leaders are driving Porsches. The grueling race was marred early on with the deaths of French driver Jean-Louis Lefaux and a French marshal in two different accidents. Four other French marshals were injured. Jeff Brabham recorded the fastest qualifying time today, taking the second starting position besides pole sitter Theo Fabi for tomorrow's opener of the Can-Am Racing Series in Ontario, Canada. Tonight's fight for the middleweight title between champ Marvin Hagler and Vito Antifermo is still mired in controversy. Yesterday, Antifermo was threatening to back out of the bout unless he was allowed to use a special ointment to control his usually excessive facial bleeding. Officials finally okayed a non-iron-based concoction. And then today, Marvin Hagler flunked his first weigh-in, tipping the scales at 161 pounds, a full pound over the limit. After officials rebalanced the scales, Hagler, who had been resting against the wall and not sweating it off, clear the limit. And Craig Stadler took a one-shot advantage over a trio tied for second place after three rounds of the Westchester Golf Classic in Harrison, New York. Stadler managed a three under par 68 to go eight under for the tournament. Coming up at 8.30 tonight, we'll have Lynn Berman with complete sports information from CBS on Sports Central USA. It's partly cloudy at 86 degrees, both at the airport and downtown at 12 minutes after 8 o'clock. Our editorial comment for today coming up right after we check into the great outdoors. Here's the Sportsman's Guide to the Great Outdoors. When first invented, all guns fired round balls loaded from the muzzle, so a form of measurement was devised based on the number of lead balls the size of the bore that would weigh one pound. Thus, a 10-gauge shotgun took 10 lead balls the size of its bore to make one pound. A 20-gauge would take 20 lead balls to make a pound. 
And so it is with a 12 and a 16. The Sportsman's Guide to the Great Outdoors. This is an editorial. The recipient of many... Thank you. 